With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The question that we have is of assertion and reason type and we need to tell if both the statements are correct and if the reason is the correct justification for the given assertion. So let's see what the assertion is. It says that triple fusion is associated with the sexual reproduction in all spermatophytes, right? So let's see briefly what is triple fusion. Triple fusion, it is seen in case of angiosperms. All right, it is seen in case of angiosperms and what happens is that one male gamete, one male gamete, it fuses with the, it fuses with the central cell of the embryo sac, central cell of embryo sac and it leads to the formation of PEN that is primary endospermic nucleus, right? This is haploid in nature and this central cell it has two polar, polar nuclei and therefore this PEN is formed. Now this is basically triple fusion because two, two uh, sorry three nuclei involved one of the male gamete and two of this central cell therefore it is known as triple fusion. Now the statement is saying that it is associated with sexual reproduction in all spermatophytes. So, what are basically spermatophytes? Spermatophytes are the seed producing plants. Alright, spermatophytes are the seed producing plants and it has gymnosperms, gymnosperms and angiosperms. It is further divided into two categories, gymnosperms and angiosperms, right? Now, we have seen that Triple fusion is characteristic feature of angiosperms. So, in this case, triple fusion can be seen. But in case of gymnosperms, it does not happen. Triple fusion is not seen in case of gymnosperms. There is no triple fusion, right? Therefore, this assertion is wrong. It is not seen in case of all spermatophytes. This statement is false. Right now coming to the reason, reason says that it is required to form definitive nucleus as nutritive tissue. Now what is definitive nucleus? This nucleus of the central cell, it is called as definitive nucleus, right? This nucleus is called as definitive nucleus and it is saying that it is required to form definitive nucleus as nutritive tissue. Now this is also false. What is nutritive tissue? It is the primary endospermic nucleus. This is the nutritive tissue, right? Which is formed by the fusion of male gamete and the central cell. This nucleus of the central cell, it does not develop into the nutritive tissue. This PEN, it later develops into the endosperm, which is the nutritive tissue, alright? This is not the nutritive tissue. So, this statement is also correct. Incorrect. So, our answer would be option number 4. That both assertion and reason are false statements. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.